Today, I'm going to be demonstrating how to make a garden stake like this one. Sometimes they're called yard stakes. I'm going to be making them out of wood. This is a great beginner DIY project for three reasons. Number one, it's easy. Number two, it's inexpensive. And number three, it's really useful. That's a pretty good combination. Garden stakes can be used in a number of ways around your garden and yard. For example, they could be used to stake out plants, cages, trellises. They could be used to stake out lines. They could be used to stake out areas. They could be used to stake out borders. I'm going to be demonstrating five ways to make garden stakes. The reason I'm doing that is just to demonstrate that you can make garden stakes using whatever tools you have on hand and using the, the materials that you have on hand. For example, I'm gonna be using one by two dimensional lumber to make mine because it's what I've got and it suits my needs. But you can choose other kinds of wood, you can choose other dimensions of wood, and you can choose lengths of wood. And all of this is dependent on what you need and what you have. Whatever kind of wood you select to use, I would encourage you to make sure that it can stand up to the pounding that it will take to get the stake into the ground, because that's how you get stakes into the ground, right? And they don't need to last forever, but you know, they should be able to last a few years, I would think. Now, at the end of this video, I'm gonna add a few extra tips about garden stakes. So stick around, it's gonna be fun. My name is James. And this is Homestyle Woodcraft. The five different ways I'm going to show you how to make a garden stake are number one, a camp saw and a hatchet. <laughs> number two, a hand saw and a miter box. Number three, a jigsaw. Number four, a compound miter saw. And number five, a bandsaw. And that's all we need to know to get started. So let's get started. Okay, I forgot something. There's only two things we need to do to a one by two to turn into a garden stake. And the first thing is cut it to length. And the second thing is put a point on it so you can pound it to the ground. That's it, it's easy. Now let's get started. Okay, so here's my camping saw. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut this to length. Done. Now I'm going to use my hatchet to cut a point on the end of the stake. I have a scrap piece of wood here so I don't end up chopping up my workbench top. All right, there we have it. Now you can, I could keep chopping it so it's really pointy and sharp. Um, but the point is, will it pound into the ground? And yes, this will pound into the ground. Yes, it's not pretty, but it will do the job using some simple tools. Okay, so here's proof that even this dull wooden stake can be pounded into the ground. Proof is in the pudding. Now we're to method number two, and that is this miter box with a handsaw. This is a handy tool. They're not very expensive, and you can do a lot of stuff with them. So we're gonna first cut this to length. I'm gonna tighten this down here to lock it in, and then cut it down. There we have it, we have it to length. Now I'm going to cut the point on it. So I'm gonna line this up. I'm gonna do this one a little differently. I'm, not, I'm just gonna cut one angle and that will work just fine. All right, there you have it. And that will go into the ground just fine. Garden stake number two. Method number three, the jigsaw. Okay, so I'm just going to mark out some lines to cut. I'm going to mark the point here. All 
that's my neighbor's hot rod all right now we're gonna cut now i'm just gonna i'm not gonna use a guide because i'm not worried that it's exactly straight because it's a garden stake all right cut to length now cut a point on it All right, so here we go. Garden stake number three. Got a nice point. Cut the length. Method number four, the miter saw. The miter saw can be used to both cut the piece to length and cut the point, but I already have a piece cut to length, so I'm just gonna be cutting the point. Now, I saw this idea in some other uh, YouTube videos, and that is since we're going to be lining up the piece like this instead of along the fence, then I've put something here in place to give uh, the workpiece some support. And so I had this little jig that I built for a different purpose, um, and I've got it clamped here to the fence. And so I'm just going to line it up here. And this clamp doesn't clamp it down, but it does prevent, it will prevent it from being kicked back at me. Although I don't think that would happen because of the rotation of the blade. But just as an added safety measure, I put it there. So I'm going to put this here, make one cut, rotate it, make the other cut. Here we go. There we have it. Nice clean point. We are ready for number five. So I'm going to put on my safety gear, and then I'm going to cut it to length. The bandsaw is somewhat limited in how I cut the stake to length, but I can cut some, and I'm going to trim a little off the end. Then I'll cut the point, and we will be done with the five methods. there we have it not as symmetrical as the uh, miter saw but still highly functional as i mentioned earlier i've been using one by two common board from the local home center but there are other wood options that you can use for example you could buy some cedar and make some really nice cedar garden stakes uh, that would last really well outside because cedar does well in the outdoors. Um, you could use a 2x2. Two two. I've got a 2x2 two two here and it would make a really nice solid garden stake. I've also got a cedar picket from you know fence material and you could rip it down to make small uh, stakes. They wouldn't be heavy duty but they would last well outside. Another option is a uh, two by four. You could rip this in half and make, again, some really beefy steaks and you could make them as long as, or as short as you like. So different woods give you different options depending on what you need. Well, I hope you're enjoying watching this video as much as I am enjoying making it. And if you are, I'd encourage you to subscribe and to hit that notification bell so that you know when I publish the video and share them with a, share them with a friend who might be interested in this kind of content. Now, I promised you some tips. So let me show you a few extra little tips about how you can maximize the use of your garden stakes. So first of all, one thing you can do, in addition uh, to what I've already shown you, is cut a little notch in the end. And that way, if you're tying string around it, it will hold it into place better. And similarly, you can accomplish something like that with a hole in the end. I drilled a hole in the end of this one, so you can run line through it. And then finally, uh, you know, make them decorative. I tried to make this one a little wavy. I'm not sure I really got there. But make it your own. Even with a garden stake, you can use your creativity 
to make your project what you want. You may have noticed that on some of the stakes I made, they weren't that pretty. That's okay with me because I'm pounding them into the ground and they're going to be outside and in my garden. So that's fine. But if you want to make them really nice and be extra precise and accurate, just make them really good, hey, knock yourself out. It's your project and you make them just like you want. Hey, I'm really glad you stayed and watched. We'll see you next time.